Hello everyone, I'm very glad to see you here today. I'm very excited to have this 30 minutes Pilates workout with you today. The workout is suitable for every level. If you have any injury or any discomfort, please um, be cautious when you do the exercises. And if you're ready, we're gonna start. All right, so let's go on our mat, on our knees. We're gonna start in all fours position. So <clears throat> go ahead and put your hands down on your mat and your palms gonna be right under your shoulders and your knees gonna be right under your hips. All right, so we're gonna start with cat and cow stretch. So you're gonna take deep breath in and pull your abs in and round your back as you push the floor away, keeping your legs heavy on the floor. With exhale, you're going to drop your belly down, chest down, back to your neutral position and raise your hips up and look all the way up towards the ceiling to stretch your back. One more time, deep breath in as you pull your abs in and push the floor away. Get to your stretching position, keep your legs heavy on the mat. As you exhale, you're going to drop your belly down, chest down, back to your neutral and drop your belly and chest a bit more down as you go for extension and look all the way up towards the ceiling. And one more time, inhale, pull your belly in, chest in, round your back and push, floor, push the floor all the way you can. Feel the nice stretch on your back. And exhale as you drop your belly down, chest down, back to your neutral and keep pushing your belly down as you go for extension. Good. Keep your shoulders far from your ears here and inhale one more time. Pull your belly in and round your back. Push your floor away. Feel the nice stretch on your neck, on your back. And as you exhale, you're going to bring your chest down and belly down and look all the way up towards the ceiling. And we're going to do this one last time. Pull your belly in and round your back. Push your floor away. Good. As you exhale, you're going to bring your belly down and then bring your chest down slowly and look all the way up towards the ceiling. Feel the nice stretch on your front body. Good. And then come back to your neutral. Good. So we're going to continue with opposite arm leg lift. So you're going to keep your back straight here and your neck, uh, neck aligned with your spine. And you're gonna tap your right hand forward and your left leg back, right? So from here, we're gonna lift the opposite arm and leg up towards the ceiling until they are parallel to floor. And then with inhale, you're gonna bring everything down and then we're gonna change the side. Got one more time, lengthen the opposite side and exhale, lift up towards the ceiling until your arm and leg parallel to floor and then lower down and change the side. Good. So here be careful to keep your hips stable, your hip bones aligned and parallel to floor as you change the arm and leg. All right, let's go one more time. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lift, inhale, lower and then change your side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift, keep the hips engaged, back straight, and then change again. Good. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lift, pay attention to your hips, staying square, and then change. Good. Again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, lift, keep your arms and legs long, reach long, lower, and then change. Good. Let's do two more times. Good. And then again, lengthen, lift, keep your back straight. <laughs> and then last set, lengthen, lift, lower, and down. Good. We're going to do this last time and hold there up. Keep your arm and leg up. Good. So now we're going to reach the hand to leg as you bend your knee, circle your arm back and reach towards your feet. Good. Try to touch your toes if you can. And then back to your parallel position and lower your arms and leg down. Good. Let's change the side. Exhale, lengthen. 
and then lift up parallel to floor. Keep your alignment, bend your knees, circle your arm back and try to reach your toes. Maybe you can touch, maybe not, that's okay. Lengthen your legs, circle your arm forward and then lower your arms and legs down and change the side. Got Again, lengthen and lift. Hold it here, keep your back straight, hips aligned. Bend your knee and then reach towards your toes. Good. And then lengthen forward and up. And then change the side again. Lengthen, lift, reach your hand to your toes. Keep your back straight, hips aligned, reach. And then circle the arm forward, lengthen your leg and down. Good, we're gonna do this one more time. Lengthen, lift, bend your knee, keep your knee parallel to the floor, reach towards your toes. Maybe you can touch your toes. Oh, I get it. Good, lengthen, and then down. Good, bring your arms down. Good, so we are back again in our all four position. So this time we're gonna work the arms. <clears throat> so I would like you to lengthen one leg back and keep your palms right under your shoulders. And then we're gonna lift one leg up to parallel, uh, parallel to floor, right? So you're gonna lock your leg here with your hips and we're gonna bend the elbows and lower your chest down, keeping your chest open. Lower your chest down and let the leg go up and then press back up and lower your legs down, all right? And then the other side, now lengthen your leg back Coming forward, lengthen. Good. Lift the leg up parallel to floor. Good. Keep your chest open, shoulders far from your ears. Bend your elbows down towards the floor as you lift your leg up. And then lift yourself back up and change the leg. Good. And lengthen your leg back. Lift the leg up parallel to floor. Keeping your elbows in alignment in your palms. Bend your elbows. Keep your back straight. Abs pulled in. And then lift. And then lower your leg down. Good. Let's do one more set. <clears throat> Lengthen your back. Leg back. Bend your elbows. As you bring your chest down. Good. Feel the back of your arms are working. Lift up and lower your leg down, good. So we're gonna do this last time. Lengthen your leg back, good. Bend your elbows as you lower your chest down. If you have any cat around you like me, be careful. And then lift yourself up, and then bend your knees, good. And now we're gonna go all the way back to our child pose to stretch. Hold it here a few seconds, take a deep breath in and out. Good. Circle your wrist if you have any tension on your wrists. And then once you're ready, you're going to come back again on your knees. And then you're going to go all the way back down on your chest, lowering your chest down. Align yourself on your mat. And then we're going to send the arms forward straight. And then your back straight. And you're going to open your legs slightly wider than your hips. And we're going to keep the glutes very engaged here to protect the lower back. All right. So keeping those points in mind, lengthen your arms forward. And I'd like you to find your left arm and lift up towards the ceiling without moving your chest. And then lower this arm down. And lift the other arm up. And then down. Good. So each time we move the arms up, we go to exhale, bring your arm up, exhale, and inhale down. Good. You can bring your head down on the floor, exhale, lift the other arm up, and down. Got one more time, arm up, and down. Good. Last time, arm up, and down. Good. Now we're going to add the legs. So you're going to lift your right arm and left leg up together and then lower and lift the other side up Good. and lower, that's one more time, lift up and lower, that's lift up and lower, nice, 
let's do one more time and hold it here lift up and lift your chest up as well slightly and then bring the other side up as well so you're gonna keep the glutes engaged here we're going for swimming now as you inhale bring one side more up and then lower the other side down and switch inhale exhale got imagine you're swimming so you're gonna keep your legs and arms very long here keep the glutes engaged inhale exhale got 10 more seconds nine eight seven six five four three two one back to center and lower everything back down on your floor and then you're gonna bend your elbows and bring your palms just next to your shoulders and then we're gonna do swan so i would like you to keep your glutes still engaged and legs slightly wider than your hips reach the legs long and back bring your palms on the floor and your head is down on the mat you're gonna take inhale and as you exhale you're gonna push your chest up lifting your chest up a little bit more with the help of your arms and then come up keeping your shoulders far from your ears neck is aligned with your spine and very stable and with inhale you're gonna bring your chest down as you bend your elbows slowly with control and then bring your head and chest all the way down but we're gonna do this four more times exhale lift yourself up pay attention not to move your neck here your neck is aligned with your spine keep your abs engaged glutes engaged shoulders far from your ears and then down good let's do two more exhale slowly lift press your palms well down on the mat as you lift yourself up and inhale lower your chest down good one last time exhale lift yourself good slowly you're gonna bring your chest back down with control nice and then you're gonna lengthen your right arm forwards and then press yourself and come to your side and we're gonna do some leg series side leg series so you're gonna keep your chest down arm long and we're gonna bring the bottom leg slightly forward right and top leg is aligned with your hip and shoulders all right so you're gonna bring your opposite hand on the floor your palm in front of your chest flex your feet keep your hips aligned hip bones on top of each other keep your waistline slightly off the mat and with exhale we're gonna kick this leg up lift and inhale down good again exhale lift inhale down nice keep your toes pointing forward your kneecap is also pointing forward the move is from your hips keep the leg long exhale lift inhale lower good five more four good keep the bottom leg also heavy on the mat plus three two good and one more hold it here now we're gonna do small pulses towards the ceiling exhale with exhale exhale good keep your leg long move it from your hip nice keep the leg straight last three two one and hold your leg up here point your toes and we're gonna go for circles in the air small circles here keep your abdominals engaged keep your leg long and circle good deep breath in and out make smooth circles small circles fine keep your hips stable last three two one and the other side five more circles four three two and one more circle keep your leg up and slowly lower your leg down great bend your knee and pull your feet towards your hips to stretch your leg nice lengthen your leg forward and we're gonna go come on our back so roll yourself back and then come on your back good so we're gonna continue with bridging <coughs> nice so you're gonna bend your knees and bring your heels towards your hips all right and your arms beside your hips 
Legs hip width apart here, knees aligned with your hip bones, nose pointing the ceiling, your chest is open, feel the back of your shoulders on the mat, and then we're gonna take deep breath in and tuck your tailbone, close the hole on your lower back, so attach your lower back on the mat, and with exhale, we're gonna lift the hips up slowly towards the ceiling here, keeping the hip bones leveled, arms staying strong on the mat, and with inhale, you're gonna roll down very slow, feeling each of your vertebra. Rolling down, touching down on your mat slowly. Good. Lastly, touch your lower back down on your mat. And one more time. Inhale, pull your belly in. Attach your lower back on the mat. Exhale, lift up from your tailbone. Your lower back getting off, mid back. And stay on your shoulder blades. Inhale here. And exhale, roll down slowly, feeling each of your vertebra one by one coming down on your mat. And slowly bring your lower back down on your mat and drop your tailbone down. Good. We're going to do this two more times. Inhale, pull your belly in, attach your lower back. Exhale, engage your glutes, keep your legs heavy on the floor and lift the hips up. And with inhale, we're going to bring the hips back down slowly. Rolling one vertebra at a time. Very nice. Good. Let's go. Last time. Inhale. Pull your belly in. And exhale. Lift the hips up. Good. Hold it here. Bring your arms up over your shoulders. And then we're going to roll down from here. Keeping the arms right over your shoulders. Bring your hips down slowly on the floor. Very slowly. Feel the articulation on your back. And hold it here. Bring your legs up to tabletop position one by one. Good. And then hug your knees on your chest. Take a deep breath in. And with exhale, roll yourself up and come to your sitting position. And lengthen your legs forward. You're going to open your legs hip width apart. And arms parallel to floor. Shoulders down and relax. Good. So if you have any issue to keep the legs straight here, you can also bend your knees. So most important is you keep your back straight. All right, so choose the way you feel most comfortable. Bring your shoulders back, neck long, back straight. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Pull your belly in, round your upper back and reach towards your toes. Feel the nice stretch on your back, also behind your legs. See between your knees and with inhale, you're going to roll yourself up, keeping your hips heavy on the floor and back to your sitting position. Got three more. Exhale, slowly pull the belly in and reach forward. Good. Keep your arms parallel to the floor. See between your knees and with inhale, you're going to pull your belly in and lift yourself up. And one more time. Inhale, pull your belly in, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, reach towards your toes. Keep your spine long here. Nice. And inhale, lift yourself back up to sitting position. And again, inhale, lengthen. Put your shoulders back in place. Exhale, reach forward. The move is from your spine. Let your arms flow with your spine. And inhale, up. Good. One last time. Again, inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, reach all the way forward. Good. Feel the stretch on the back of your legs and also on your spine. And then you're going to lift yourself up. Lower your arms down. Good. Bend your knees and sweep the legs around. And we're going to go on the floor on this side. So lengthen your arm and keep both legs straight. You're going to bring your bottom leg slightly forward, like 20 degrees, and top leg staying straight, right in the same alignment in your hips and shoulders. Right, you're going to keep your chest open, legs straight, feet flexed, and your palm in front of your chest. Right, hip bones on top of each other, keep your hips as stable as possible, and then we're going to lift the leg up slowly towards the ceiling with exhale, and inhale down. That exhale, lift, inhale down, nice, exhale, lift, inhale down, nice, keep your hips stable here, 
and keep the glutes engaged, core engaged, so everything is staying stable and just your leg is moving from your hip joint. Good. Again, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Nice. Keep your bottom leg heavy on the floor as you press the top leg up towards the ceiling. Nice. Last five. Four. Good. Three. Two. Good. Last time. Lift. Hold it here. And we're going to do small pulses up towards the ceiling here. Keep your waistline slightly off the mat if you can. Hip stable. Good. Keep your chest open. Keep the leg up and pulse. And pulse. Good. Use your breath. Keep your breath flowing. Exhale. Good. Last five. Four. Three. Two. One. And hold it up here. Point your toes. And then circles in the air. Good. Make small circles. Focus on your hip stability as you circle the leg forward and back. Nice. Exhale. And inhale. Good. And three, and two, and one more. Good. Now reverse. Bring your leg back and up, forward and down. Exhale and inhale. Nice. Keep circling. And last three, two, one more circle back to your center and lower your leg down slowly and then bend your knees and stretch your leg out. Good. Pull your feet towards your hips. Feel the nice stretch on your legs. Good. And then you're going to lengthen your leg back up. Nice. And slowly from here, lift yourself up. And then come to your sitting position. You're going to cross your legs and sit in the middle of your mat. And then bring your feet together, soles of your feet together if you can. Hold from your ankles and press your knees down on the mat. Feel the nice stretch in your inner thighs, also in your hip flexors. You can bring your chest forward, you can hinge forward. Good. And then lift yourself back up. Good. So we're going to mermaid position. So you're going to bring one leg out and keep the other knee forward in front of you. Right. Open your arms to sides. Bring your palms down towards the floor and then you're going to take inhale and lengthen your spine and as you exhale we're going to bend towards the leg that is staying in front of you put your hand down and stretch your arm over your head keep your chest open here shoulders far from your ears and go deeper to your stretch inhale exhale lift yourself up and then stretch to the opposite side keeping your arm long and reach Good. Inhale back to center. Good. Last time. Inhale again. Bend and reach your arm over your head. Keep your hips heavy on the floor. And lift yourself up one last time to this side. Bring your right arm under your chest and reach the other arm up over your head. Good. Back to center. Lower your arms down and we're going to change the legs. So you're going to bring the other leg forward and the other one leg back. Good. And then you're going to open your arms again. So this time we're going to decide that, um, decide that your leg is in front. Right? Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, keep the legs heavy on the floor and bend. Slowly touch your hand on the mat. Bend your elbow as you reach the other arm over your head. Good. Inhale, lift yourself up and reach to the other side for a stretch. Keep your shoulders far from your ears and chest open and reach. Good. Back to center. And last time, inhale, bend, touch your hand on the floor. Keep the shoulder far from your ear and bend your elbow. Reach towards your stretch. Keep the hips heavy on the floor. Reach. And lift yourself up. And to the opposite side. That reach. Good. Back to your center. Bring your arms down and take your leg in front of you. Cross your legs. 
And that's it for today. Thank you very much for uh, joining me. See you.